Hey everyone, we're now returning back to my Niji solo ranking series, and the next part is about none other than Shioriko. Unlike most of the other Niji girls, Shioriko only has 5 solos as of me making this video. They are Ketsui no Hikari, Aoi Kanaria, Concentrate, Emotion, and Kofukuron. Ever since Shioriko was introduced in All Stars, I thought to myself that there seems to be a disconnect between the people who design her music and the people who design her costumes. For a long time, they couldn't seem to decide whether they wanted Shioriko's vibe to be cool or cute. That seems to be how I ended up with things like Aoi Kaneria, which is a really cool song that somehow got paired with a cuter styled costume, or Emotion, which in my opinion suffers from the same issues. However, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to try hard to put aside my feelings about her sometimes questionable costume choices and just focus on the songs. Luckily, even though Shioriko's musical style is a little all over the place sometimes, her seiyu handles this wonderfully. Shioriko sounds great in literally every song listed here. I don't think that Shioriko has any songs that aren't good, so it was a little hard to rank them. Her solos are very consistent across the board. If you're someone who has never really listened to them before, I ask you now to give them a listen. Shioriko's arc in the anime wasn't that great in all honesty. It was scaled back a lot compared to her way more satisfying arc in All Stars. Because of that, I really don't think that Chiariko gets the attention that she deserves. So let's give her some right now. Coming in at number 5 is Emotion, which was Chiariko's solo from Season 2, Episode 7 of the anime. When I first heard the song and watched the video, I was a little put off by it. I guess because this is a song written for her anime self, so it's lighter and softer than the songs written for her All-Stars counterpart. In some ways, I also feel like this song is covering ground that was already done by Ketsui no Hikari and Aoi Kaneria, but in a less captivating way. The bridge is nicely done, and of course Shioriko sounds gorgeous because it's Shioriko, but overall the song really left me wanting more. It definitely feels like the most forgettable of Shioriko's solos, and I probably won't listen to it much more in the future. Coming in at number 4 is Concentrate, which was written for All Stars, where Shioriko had to sing a song representing the student council. Normally I pay a lot of attention to lyrics because I feel that they're an important part of a song, and I don't really care for songs where the lyrics don't make a lot of sense. However, I'm willing to give this song a little bit of a pass, because the lyrics depend heavily on Japanese wordplay, which can be really difficult, if not impossible, to accurately translate. Despite that, because the English lyrics on the wiki are a little all over the place, I found it hard to get a read on the song, and that's why I didn't place it any higher. However, it's worth noting that I still enjoyed the song because Shiriko sounded upbeat and happy in it, which isn't something that we get to hear very often from her. Coming in at number 3 is Kofu Kuron, which is Shiriko's most recent solo from the Love Song album. I have to admit that I wondered to myself what kind of love song they could write for someone like Shiriko. The song that she ended up with is pretty much perfect for her, at least in terms of the lyrics. I actually think this is a really cute song, and she sounds really pretty here. I especially liked how soft and sweet she sounds during the bridge. It's one of the better songs from the Love Song album in my opinion, and it made my top 3 when I did a ranking for that particular album. However, I did place this song at number 3 on this list just because I genuinely like the top 2 songs better. But I do want to say that I really do think this song is great for her. Coming in at number 2 is Ketsui no Hikari, which was Shioriko's first solo. I didn't really know what to expect for Shioriko's first solo, and I remember being really surprised in a good way by both the song and the All-Stars MV. The lyrics of the song speak to Shioriko's uncertainty, but also her desire to change, so they're very meaningful. And really, it's just a great song to listen to. The only thing that kept it from moving up into my number one spot is that I think they could have done a little more with the end of the bridge. I was hoping for some beautifully drawn out notes instead of the rapid fire ending right before the third chorus. But all of that said, I really do think that this is one of the strongest first solos out of all of the Niji girls. And that means that coming in at number one is Aoi Kanaria, which was written for All Stars and also was used as an insert song in Season 2, Episode 13 of the anime. I truly feel like this is Shioriko's best solo so far. She sounds strong, powerful, and confident in this song. The bridge is gorgeous and the instrumentals for the song are great. I especially enjoyed the guitar solo right after the bridge as it definitely pumps you up for the last part of the song. I also really like Shioriko's vocalizations at the end of the song as she sounds just beautiful there. Overall, this is a much more confident song than Shioriko's first solo, giving the impression that Shioriko is a little bit more sure about the path she is now taking. She's still finding her way but with more confidence than before and I love that for her. I also think that this style of song really suits her and I hope that we'll get more Shiriko solos in this variety in the future. 
This concludes my Shiriko solo ranking. Even though she only has 5 solos so far, I think Shiriko has a pretty good range for songs. She has a lovely, smooth voice that can fit a wide range, so it's hard to know where they're going to go next for her, but I feel confident in saying that her next solo is going to be a great one. Now if they could just get her costume to be more in line with her actual songs, we'd be good. As always, I will leave a link to the Love Live wiki of each of the songs I've talked about here in the description below, just in case there are some of Shioriko's solos that you haven't heard before. I couldn't include the music here because of copyright issues, but I'd encourage you to listen to all of her solos if you haven't yet. And if you've already heard them, or if you've been listening to them just now, then please leave a comment below with your ranking of her solos, or even just let me know if you have a particular favorite one. Until next time everyone, thank you for listening!